Hey guys, good morning. I felt the need to make a video this morning, and part of my philosophy around making videos since I started my video blog project over two winters ago was that I never want to put too much like effort into it. I know that sounds bad, but like my point is like I want to be comfortable showing my friends, the real me, and sometimes that means not wearing any makeup and hanging out in my bathrobe in my bedroom. So, welcome to my room! I'm bringing you into my, my, uh, my little sanctuary in the world here. So, I live in Central Square in Cambridge, Massachusetts, and the only reason I can afford to live in this amazing place is that I live in a laundry room! Literally. Literally. Literally, I have zero commute. You want to see my commute to do my laundry? There. <laughs> There's my commute. So, um, so in, in keeping with having this teeny, teeny, tiny space, because I'm a teeny, teeny, tiny girl, this is, my, this is my bed. This is my loft bed that I have. See? I actually just put this down here so I can sleep on the floor, because it turns out I would much rather sleep on the floor. So I have it upstairs. I have an upstairs that I don't really use, <laughs> but you know, it turns out that I don't really need much of anything. All my travels in India taught me that I really don't need much. And um, Arthur, can you do a load of whites for me? Technically, yes, I could. Technically, no, I'm not going to say that. <laughs> okay, well, no, I won't. I'm going to withhold myself from a really dirty joke right now, just for you, Arthur. Just for you. Do you see how red this girl's getting? <laughs> um, you know, I find that ever since I went blonde, the outcome or like the side effect is that any time I blush, it's incredibly evident. So that just happened. That just happened, Arthur. You just did that to me. But you like that. Anyways, I'm gonna stop. Dirty jokes. Done. Done. Um, so I wanted to I wanted to make a video because I I wanted to make sure everyone knows. Uh, Wayne, I have beautiful eyes. Thanks, man. I'm really glad I have these eyes because if I didn't, I would just have these like nasty empty eye sockets. And nobody likes nasty empty eye sockets. It's much harder to connect with people when you have nasty empty eye sockets instead of eyes. So I'm glad I have them. Thank you for your compliment. I too feel this 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 feeling. Bobby, tell the joke. Hey, Bobby Dritza, nice to see you, man. It's been a while, brother. Um, Bobby was actually one of the first people I photographed uh, many, many years ago when I started on my rooftop in, in Malden. Oh, the dirty joke. Okay. You want to hear the dirty joke? Okay. What was it? What was it? Um, <laughs> okay. Uh, Arthur said, Arthur said, because um, I made the comment about how I'm living in a laundry room, and he asked if I could, he asked if I could handle he asked if I could handle a load of his whites. Yes, I can handle your load. <laughs> oh, totally inappropriate. I'm just, I'm not even, I, I'm not even, yes, I can. All right. You see the blonde and the, the blushing? It's, it's happening. So, um, oh God, this is not the point of this video to get on and make dirty jokes, but that's just how it happened, man. Hi, Christy. Nice to see you, woman. I love you. Oh, and I did it. I did it. I did it. I did it. I said I could handle Arthur's load. Arthur, I can handle your load, man. <laughs> okay. Okay, moving on. Moving on. <clears throat> uh, so, I want to make sure everyone understands that I'm, I'm leaving for Thailand. I'm going to Thailand for 40 days this winter. I'm leaving in December. And so that means I'm, I'm preparing now. I'm, I'm saving up my money. I'm making sacrifices. I'm, you know, working hard or hardly working. No. Um, thanks, Bobby. Good for me, man. I took that load. So my point is that, um, Mary Beth, if I can make you laugh, then damn girl, it's a good day. Um, <laughs> blushing. Anyways, my point, my fucking point, I had one. So I'm leaving in December, which means that I'm not shooting in November. That means there are only two months left to get your headshots done by me. If you want me to do your headshots, I'd really appreciate if you'd schedule them soon. And in fact, um, so today is what day? September. Oh, wow. Today is September, September 1st. So, um, I'm going to be offering one more discount promotion. Um, 
it's a $50 off promotion if you want me to do your headshots. This is the last one I'm offering till February. So if you want me to do your headshots, get on it. And I get a lot of questions from people um, saying, hey, where can I learn about your packages? Where can I learn about your pricing? It's all on my website. It's all on my fucking website. Just go to my website and there are, there are tabs above on the top and it says, you know, samples, packages, questions and answers, book a session. It's all there. If you look, it's there. It's incredible. Um, so I want to make sure people know that I'm going to be pushing the next like week ish to get some new bookings. And then after that in October, so the, my, my price is lower now. And then in October it's going to go up and then November it's going to go up more because I don't want to shoot. So I'm encouraging you to schedule soon, very soon. So Wayne, you asked, what's the purpose of my trip? So, um, I wasn't planning on going traveling this winter because I spent the last two winters in India and I was like, all right, I'm, I'm cooked. I'm all set. I can and stay put. But then I got a very interesting invitation that I could not refuse. So years ago, um, uh, Shandy, what are your prices? Sorry. Yo, girl. Plus, you don't need to. You just got some amazing new headshots with Dina K. So, girl, you're cooked. You're cooked. You're good, girl. Um, package discounts and loads. What's going on here? LOL. Yes. <laughs> Have you had coffee yet? Michael, no, I don't really drink coffee. I don't. That's coffee energy. I like real energy. Um, so offer I can't refuse from some friends that I used to know in Singapore, essentially these really cool German circus performers. One of them, uh, bought a piece of land on this island in Thailand with a friend of his and proceeded to build a house. And then the entire, uh, month of December is a housewarming month. So your fire spinning German circus performing dear friend invites you to Thailand for a month. Why would I say no? I, no, I, I did struggle with the decision for a little while. I struggled with the decision. There, like, whenever anything, a big idea comes like that, the first part is, like, a lot of struggle and, like, can I do it? I shouldn't do it. Can I afford it? Can I do... I can't. Can I? I can't. I can't. I can't. Shit. Can I? I can. So, <laughs> that was my 4th of July weekend, getting through that. Um, so, as of, like, as of the 4th of July weekend, I decided that I'm going to go do this trip to Thailand. So, um, so that said, I'm going to go hang out on a beach in Thailand with a bunch of fire spinning German circus performers for a couple weeks. And then I figured that while I'm in the area, I might as well tack on another 10 days to my trip and go explore the jungles of Northern Thailand. So I'm going to go do that because I can, because I'm alive and I would hate to get to my deathbed and regret have any regrets about not doing the thing that I wanted to do because I will die you will die we're all gonna die so good morning Mary hi um, so we're all gonna die that's a, that's a point and that's why we should go do the thing that we want to do now while we while we're still breathing while we still can because we're very blessed to have this opportunity to be alive and to make choices and to exert our free will yes some people everyone has a different scenario and situation I understand that but the most important thing is that we do have free will and we can always choose and I have chosen to work hard and make sacrifices and save up and and now um, I'm you know getting ready to leave for Thailand. Lance, you're funny girl, keep up the great work you do. Congrats on John's permanent film success. It's killing the festival. Oh yeah! Yeah, one of my one of my films permanent where I played this heroin junkie with some serious daddy issues. Won the best 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 feature film at this uh, film festival in uh, New York. I don't know. I'm sorry. I used to be really good at promoting. I'm not anymore. Well, no, I am. I am good. I just choose to promote certain things over other things. There's always choice. Oh, uh, Bobby, might as well pop over to Lao in Cambodia. I know, dude. I know. I know. I know. I know. I've been to Cambodia. I haven't been to Lao. I hear Lao is a great place to float down the river and eat dog, which I'm not psyched about. But I actually, I really want to go to Burma. They just opened up the borders. They just opened up the borders to Burma a couple years ago. Before that, you couldn't travel there. So now it's, like, wide open and, like, fresh territory. So I'd actually really like to go to Burma. But for right now, for right now, we're going to we're gonna just do Thailand. Uh, Russell, I'm there. I will book with you later. I'll also bring my laundry. <laughs> uh, can you be my wake-up video every morning, Michael? If you're lucky. Um, uh, I was going to end with a joke about Arthur and his load, but I'll refrain. Yes, Arthur, you're, you and your load are now quite the talk of the town. Oh God, Eric, what have I done? So I started this video by, by saying like, you know, I want to be real with you guys. Like I want to be, 
I want to be real. You know, I think when I started making videos at like the beginning of Hollywood East, like, like trying to get interest for like the workshops and stuff, I watch my old shit and I'm just like, oh God, just someone just like shake this girl. Like you gotta be real. You gotta be honest. And, um, uh, that's what I endeavor to do. Hence like no makeup and, and, and my boobies almost coming out of the, <laughs> yeah. So, <clears throat> So, what was my point? My point was, please, if you are thinking about getting your headshots done by me, I ask that you book them soon. Today is the first day of September. I'm going to be offering a, a discount, my last discount of the season until February. I'll probably do a 50, 50 bucks off. 50 bucks or an extra retouched photo. That's only if you book, say, like this week. Um, I definitely want to incentivize it because I know that people want to and they just need help to commit. Um, don't we all? Don't we all? Am I the only one? Speaking of commitment, no, I won't. I won't talk about that yet. Anyways, do I seem happier than normal? Is there something, something going on? No. No. Maybe. Actually, Roki, Roki, you're the smart. You're one of the smartest people I know. You pick up. You pick up on my on my hints. You, I, I'm dropping hints like they're fucking hot potatoes. Anyways, Opa, uh, Thailand, my room, oh yeah, you know, uh, for anyone who's just joining, this is my teeny, 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 tiny laundry room in Central Square, which is why I can afford to live here. Here's my little tiny loft bed. Actually, I was sleeping up here, but then I moved, I just got a pad, now I'm just like on the floor, and this is where I, I do my morning meditations right here. And then, yeah, now I have an upstairs. I have an upstairs to my place, which I'm no longer using. Just, I have too much. I have too, I, in fact, I have, I have too much space in this room that I'm not even using some. So here's my, oh, let's, let's, let's go in Erica's path. Here's my little seat where I, I sit by the window. And I'll show you my, my view from my window. There's my backyard. I like to water the plants. I like to sit out there. There's a park over there that I really like. And yeah stuff and things, things and stuff, and there's my teeny, teeny, tiny closet. You know, I'm amazed that I actually have clothes in this closet, because when I came back from India, I had nothing. I had, I had, I mean, I was broke as a joke, and had very little, and yet, I had so much more. I was so much more expanded as a result of the experience. So, this is Erica's teeny, tiny world for a teeny, tiny girl. Teeny, 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 tiny. But you know what? We really don't need that much stuff anyway. Because when it comes down to it, it's just material, guys. It's just material. And you're not taking it with you. So, one of the best things I ever did was give everything I own away. Anyways, enfin. Sandra, good morning. I love you. Thank you for being here. I love you, woman. I just want to squeeze you. I want to squeeze all of you. Like, I have this intense desire to squeeze you people. To squeeze you with a slight wiggle as I do it. Oh, not Arthur though, because you know he's he's he, we 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 don't we don't know about him. <laughs> oh, I hope you all enjoyed uh, my um, my blushing. Enfin, um, Wayne, you are enjoyable to watch. You're serious. You're funny, and you seem to believe in what you can when you can. When yes. Yes, apparently I can't read very well. But yes, thanks, dude. I, um, I'm just an energy source here to spread the love and joy amongst the people and just make the world a slightly better place, even if it is thanks to making jokes about Arthur's load. And my... You know what, Erica? Just fucking stop. Just stop, okay? All right. You can squeeze me, Wayne. Yeah, very good. I bet I can. Uh, Mr. Announcement, please tell me again. Oh, Sandra, my announcement. Um, it's just that I'm... I'm I'm going to, you know, I'm going to Thailand, and uh, I'm going to Thailand for 40 days this winter, and I'm making my preparations now, so I'm, in terms of, like, because I've done this, this is my third time that I'm leaving, so I understand that there, the, like, the two, three months before, that's, like, my, my mass, my, my, like, really intense preparation time, so right now I'm saving, I'm working hard, and I'm also trying to get business now, so I don't have it, I don't have to be stressed out right before I leave. So if you want to work with me, the best thing you could do would be hire me soon in September or early October. I'm going to be phasing out my photo shoot services at the end of October into November. So if you want me to photograph you before February, she has a funny face, before February, you have to schedule it soon. Scheduling photo shoots with me is really super fucking easy. 
Sorry, pardon my French. I'm sorry, dear Deirdre. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. My bad. Um, sometimes I'm like a sailor, dude. Anyways, so the, it's very easy to learn more. You Oh, oh, you're interested? You'd like to learn more about my services? Go to my website, ericasi.com. I've been building it specifically for this purpose to answer any question you may have. Or if you want to schedule a photo shoot, you can do it right there through the website. I have this really cool scheduling thing. It goes straight into my calendar so you can see all of my availabilities in my calendar um, it, to, to schedule a photo shoot. So it's there, ericasi.com. Please get it done. Please don't wait till the last minute. You know what? Here's what's going to happen. Here's, what, here's what's going to happen. There are going to be a couple assholes who I love because they're always people I love, but you're kind of being an asshole. If you, they're going to wait till the last minute and it's going to be like, it's going to be like two weeks before I leave and they're going to be like, oh, Erica, I didn't realize and oh, but please and I please. They're going to do this. They're going to do this and I'm going to, I'm going to love them and I'm going to, I'm going to say yes. I'm going to say yes because I love them, but you're going to hurt me. You're going to stress me out and it's going to be stressful. So don't do that to me. If you love me, don't do that to me because I love you and I just want to help you. And so... Look, they see the red, the rouge is rising. Anyways, um, hi Lauren, hi John, good morning friends, thanks for joining me. Here in my bedroom, my little, my little, this is my, I sleep on the floor these days. I just put like a pad on the floor and I sleep there. Even though I have all this, I have it upstairs but I don't use it. You know, I just have, I have too, I have too much. I have too much. And then the luxury of my laundry right here, I mean, really, what more do I need? What more does the girl need? Anyways, I'm being redundant now, um, but I just want to... <sighs> give you guys some energy. I hope you all have a wonderful day and speak your truth and be constantly vigilant about being honest about what it is your soul truly desires and remember that you're going to die. You're going to die. You're going to die. When I was making this decision if I wanted to go to Thailand or not and really sort of like wrestling if it was possible, we were driving up to Maine for the 4th of July weekend for this like awesome lake house and I we stopped at this gas station and I remember there was a graveyard next to the gas station and I, I went up to the graveyard and I put my fingers through the chain link fence and I just kind of stared at the graves and I just deeply contemplated the fact that I am going to die. My body is going to be underground one day and I'm not going to be able to make any choices. So knowing that, in full consciousness of my own mortality, what do I choose? So I choose adventure. I choose adventure, and that's what I'm going to go do. So 40 days in Thailand this winter, just a short trip, nothing like six months in India. Actually, it turned into like 10, 11 months in India. That's a whole other story, which I'll tell in my book one day. Do you guys know I'm planning on writing a book? I will. It's going to be a, a wild story with some very interesting characters. You guys don't even know. You think you know, but you don't actually know. You have no idea what I was doing in India. You have no idea. If you knew, you'd... Well that's the subject for a different video. So, my friends, this is it. We've come to the end of our time together for now. I hope you're well. I hope you have a great day. Remember that you're going to die and make choices based on that. Not tomorrow, because if you're going to die tomorrow, then you might do something really bad today. Anyways, you know what I mean. You know what I mean. Don't overanalyze, okay? So, stuff and things, things and stuff. Um, let's see if there's anything else I want to show you for my little ledge here. Maybe a little Ganesha. I'll show you a little Ganesha. So this is Lord Ganesha. Ganesha is, is an energy force that is all about removing obstacles in your path. So I definitely give bad props to Ganesh and ask for assistance to remove my obstacles. So, thank you, Ganesh. May Ganesha remove your obstacles today, too. Anyways, alpha. Um, okay, I'm going to go put on the clothes and do the thing and live the life and dream the dream and, yeah. Okay. Oh, and I'm joining just in time for Rachel. Hi, Rachel. I love you, woman. How are you doing? Um, Wayne, I'm thankful for seeing you before you die. You're great. Thanks, man. Same to you. But you know... There's, I'm leaving quite a record for posterity, so if you look on my YouTube, actually, I just posted some, I actually just, fun fact, I know, I know, I'm trying to get out of here. Um, I just restarted my vlog. I, I had been doing, I had gotten up to like 578 episodes of my vlog, and I was like backlogged on all these episodes that I hadn't posted, so I was just like, you know what, fuck this, I'm going to start over. So I started over, I started over on, on volume number two, so I, I'm currently on episode three 
of volume two of my vlog project. So if you want to see my vlogs, my most latest vlogs, then go to YouTube. Uh, I'll put a link. YouTube.com slash Erica Derica, and you can see my shit there. So um, that's it. This is too long. I gotta go. I love you guys. I want to squeeze the shit out of you. Um, God damn, Arthur and his load. I don't know if you guys saw the early part of the video, but... Alright, all the things. Elle, I love you! You just joined! Listen, Elle Doucette is one of the most beautiful people you could ever hope to meet. Just don't cross her because she will probably cut you. And then she'll make you a sandwich. Yeah. I like people like that. Alright, peace and love, friends. I adore you all. Thank you for being with me. Thank you for caring what about the things that come out of me. I mean, my head. God damn it, Erica. <laughs> On that note, I'm just gonna go blush that way now. Okay, bye. Mmm.